It's fish day on Sam the Cooking Guy, and we're changing up a bit. Not cooking at my house. We're cooking here at Catalina Offshore. I'm Sam the Cooking Guy. <laughs> this show is about food that's big in taste and small in effort. Yeah. Man, is that good. Totally easy stuff anyone can make. Look at, look at them going already. And everything comes from a supermarket. You take all those other cooking shows like this, you don't need them anymore. This is Sam the Cooking Guy. Okay, so here's the thing. So if you're gonna have a fish day show, you might as well do it where there's a lot of fish, seafood, that kind of stuff. And that's what Catalina is all about. And there's two sides to it. Obviously, you can come in and you can get some Mexico gold spot or big eye tuna or, or group or salmon or oysters or shrimp or whatever, that kind of stuff. But the other thing that I like is that it's a wholesale spot. Pretty much anybody that sells seafood in a restaurant buys from here in San Diego and elsewhere, but still. This is the place that it all sort of seems to happen from. Uh, and this guy right here, this guy right here. Come on, come ah, on. Sam. Don't be embarrassed. This is Tommy Gomes, right? Here's the important part. Fishmonger, right? That's like a 1952 uh, uh, title. 1800s. They don't say that anymore. No, they and don't. they don't say it anymore because it's not that many people that do it. But fishmonger to me means you really know what the hell you're talking about. You know your fish, right? Google. Google what? Google is my friend when I need to know fish. Okay, come on. I'm trying to, <laughs> to be serious for people here. I know. Okay, I'm going to let you do something now. Okay. You normally take a lot longer to do. It's one of the things that I love about Tommy. Tommy believes in a couple things. Sustainability and... Educate, yes. promote, and have yes. fun. Yes, and... Use local yes. seafood. Yes, and... The whole fish. The whole oh, utilization of the whole fish. Thank you. I don't know. I, that's I don't what know. it is. So just say, look. Look. Okay. So what, tell me, what is it? What do people need to know? Because they don't know. We're throwing away the best parts. That's it. Thank you. Fish doesn't come out of the ocean in a box. It comes out of the ocean whole and yes. kicking. Yes. Utilize that. We're gonna we, do that today. We are. You yes. don't you don't harvest a pig just to make bacon. You use the whole pig. Absolutely. So Good use point. the whole fish. Good point and buy local when you can and ask questions. Know your source, know where it comes from. The, the guys back here. Yeah. You ask them about it, they know where it's from, they know what to do with it, they know. Yes. They, they know, know the deal. They know when it came in, they know how it was caught. Yeah. And if they don't, they bring the customer right over to me. And we educate and them And yell way. at them. Sometimes. Will you be mean? Yeah. He's not mean. He seems grumpy, but <laughs> he's really, you're really quite lovely. Lovely. Did you just <laughs> use that? I said lovely. <laughs> okay, so one of the things that, that I'm curious about is uh, is the like the grading of tuna and stuff. There's so many different types and how you know it's good. So So let's say we have ten fish on the table, only one can be the best. And one of the ways that we do it, you want me to show you? I want to see this. Okay. So we take the Shishibo here, or the probe, if you will, and you have to poke it. Oh, God. And you run it in. You give it a little bit of twist, and sometimes it works for me, and sometimes it doesn't. When you pull it out, we can slide it, and you get to see the color of the fish without cutting the fish open. Color tells you quality, fat content. Fat content. And it also tells you, feel that, Sam. See how nice and firm that is? Yeah. It tells you that the fish isn't all mushy inside. So this is a what? This is a this is a, a, a big eye? This is a big eye tuna caught by an American flag vessel yes. offloaded here in San Diego. Got it. And there's another thing that you can do is you can do a tail cut and you just take this and you take the tail cut and you lay it right up in here with it and you can see the beautiful color. Yes. And the fat down in and along here. There's a little bit of fat in here but it's still nice and firm and the texture is great. Okay, so that's this is bluefin though, but known for more fat, right? Known for more fat and a little deeper color and a little more richer in flavor, which is sought after for sashimi, yeah. uh, high-end yeah, yeah, sushi yeah, 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 yeah. and stuff like that. So again, we just take the probe, we run it in, go nice and slow, give it a few twists to cut it out. 
Okay, so not nearly as firm as that. Not nearly Because there's as more firm. fat? It's more fat, more oil. Oil and fat are two different things. You want fatty in the tuna. We'll do a tail cut and on the blue fin. Now, you see the difference? Yeah. You see the fat down in here and yeah. all that? There's much more fat here. And that's what you want Yeah. in the blue fin. But if you want to try something that's really cool. I want to try something really cool. Go and ahead. by cool, do you mean good? Trust your fishmonger, Sam. How's that? It's like heaven. So rub your fingers on that. You oh, feel no, the fat? I mean, no. You feel yeah, the fat? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now rub your fingers on this, on the other hand, the other hand. Okay, now rub your fingers on that. You feel the difference in the texture? That's completely different. So, yeah. Completely Blue fin different. tuna, big eye tuna. Both are American harvested from US flag boats, which is important for guys like me. That's what I love about you. I love that attitude, I love that spirit. I love the education in yeah. how you preach. You're a bit of a fool at times, but you do, you do have <laughs> that side heart. I fool at heart. You know, but we have to cook. We're gonna show you one, th one of the things I'm gonna use today. Can we just oh, show that guy? This right here, Sam, is probably the most underutilized pelagic species on the planet. Okay, A, what does pelagic mean? Uh, it's, you know, layman's terms, it's a fish that travels throughout the world, rides the tides and currents, the thermocline and all that. The two, what the hell is this? This is an opa. Opa. Most people don't know opa, it's not that well known. One I'm bite at a time, we're teaching them. I, there you go. Show me what part we're using. So we're gonna use the abductor muscle, which is down in here, okay. which controls the pectoral fin here. Yes. Okay, let's do this. We gotta go to a, a commercial. Let's start with this. The first thing I'm gonna make today is coming out of the, the, the abductor muscle. Yeah. Show me where that would be on me. You don't have any muscles, Sam. Okay, I don't, it's okay with it. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, don't go away. It's, it's fish day at Catalina.